would you expect to pay for a flame broiled Burger King burger? Wait, don't answer yet. What if I told you this regular Burger King burger had 25% more beef than a regular McDonald's burger? Now how much? Don't answer yet. What if I said you could get two of these burgers, not for $3 or $5, but for just $1? It would leave you speechless. Two burgers for a buck for a limited time at Burger King. The best food for fast times. Flame broilers are standing by. Let me have that tip, and then I'll let you go. You have to kill me first. <laughs> like chicken. Introducing Subway's chicken fajita sub, topped with old El Paso thick and chunky salsa. Subway, the way a sandwich should be. The second consecutive week, the fiery Tommy Maddox orchestrated another dramatic fourth quarter comeback. LA's third consecutive game decided on the last play. This week, will the field general continue his heroics? 
Or will Memphis's Rashawn Salam go maniac in L.A.? Rashawn Salam, touchdown! The Memphis Maniacs. The L.A. Extreme. The XFL, Sunday night on UPN. Let's continue stretching the chest and back in this way. And the other side. So, Marius, at last I find you. Tyrion, yes. Yes, now, now I recognize you, you. I should have known you'd travel in disguise. There, they're always watching. I've been searching for you for a long time, Marius. I was rather beginning to think you didn't want to be found. Oh, forgive me, Tyrion, please. It wasn't my fault. Not your fault? Tell me, Marius, how was it not your fault? The Wanderer.
kids? Welcome to Asthma World, the insanely great guide to life with asthma. It's just for the cool kid with asthma. Asthma is something you can deal with. Trust me, I know, because I have asthma too. Maybe you need to take asthma medicine and kids start making fun of you. It really stinks, doesn't it? Asthma's for dweebs, right? But wait, you're no dweeb. I have asthma, I'm no dweeb. Welcome to Asthma News. On today's episode of Asthma World Turns, Josh gets some medical news. I'm sorry, Josh. I'm afraid the main problem is your asthma. Oh, no! Not asthma! Josh, make sure that if you have a cold, you take extra care of your asthma. Oh, <laughs> oh brother. Josh, are they always like this? They can be pretty dramatic. This is a soap opera after Good all. point. Why don't you come see me later, Josh, and we'll talk some more about this asthma stuff. It's a serious disease, but I know you can handle yeah, it. Yeah, one of my friends at school has asthma. Did you know that several great professional basketball players in the NBA have asthma? Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> oh, brother. Ah, after investing all your hard-earned quarters with this number one arcade game, you know what I forgot? I forgot to change the box art uh, in my 4x3 layout, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna fiddle with that. I think the thing- I think I could do that. Yeah, it's fine. Everything's fine. Hey everybody! Welcome to the stream. There was no reason to bring that up first, but it was the first thing I thought of, so... Welcome to Police Knots. Uh, it turns out it's another cyberpunk detective game. Kojima might have a fondness for this. So here's something cool about police knots. I think I think most people would probably recognize the little like doot doots that are at the beginning of Metal Gear Solid. With a gun in the hand, yeah, that's kind of interesting. Hold on a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something fancy. I'm gonna mute. I'm gonna mute my PlayStation. So here's here's a fun little bit. I tried running this on PlayStation hardware. I have like a fat PS3. Oh, I didn't know there was a demo loop. Oh, it just plays the. That's that's a shit version of the Konami logo. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm distracting myself a lot. Um, how's everybody doing? Forgot to ask. Uh, I tried uploading this to my PS3 and just running it off the fat PS3 hardware and it like fucked up. The video didn't play right. Um, every like every every so often there'd be a frame that was like partially black. Super weird. It's like uh, it looked like an encoding error, to be honest. Um, maybe whatever version of PS1 is that's baked into the PS3 just doesn't play right with the way that this video is encoded. What am I doing here? Sorry, I'm in the middle of... Uh, Dicking around with something. It'll make sense in a moment. So there's this. Okay. Step one. Change to the other scene. There we go. What? It's like mega cropped weird. <laughs> Almost got it. Oh, that's why. I'm like covering the logo perfectly. Awesome. And also the single image in the center of the box art. Okay. Oh, thank you, Kenzo. Remember that from Metal Gear Solid? Yeah, it turns out that's from something. And it also turns out that that is part of one of the fucking most amazing video game songs uh, that actually came from this game. And what's weird is like uh, having, I just ran like the first 10 minutes. There's a fucking, there's a solid snake reference in it. Is it possible you had the wrong region for that PS3's PSX hardware?
Uh, Nozetsu, thanks for the sub. I mean, it's a it's an American, it's a U.S. region PS3. Uh, maybe the ROM is like, yeah, maybe there's some some futzing with like regions or refresh rates or something, and I'm just getting a garbage frame here and there. It's an interesting uh, it's an interesting idea to ruminate on how an emulator can be more accurate than ostensibly the original hardware, or more correct. <laughs> I guess might be the right one. Police knots. So Kojima liked he liked his moody cyberpunk detective story so much he did it again. I don't know anything else really about this. So it's very exciting to be able to play this. There it is again. I think this is one of those fancy games where circle is okay. So it's going to take a while to relearn that because it flips in the interface if I ever have to dick around with the emulator. This is just a warm-up. The game is actually kind. It gives you this moment to stretch out your neck and get ready. I'm shocked that Logic hasn't sampled this for a rap. That's a really good point, Kento. You know, okay. I went through this process this morning when I was listening to End of the Dark, which is the opening track for Police Knots, which we're about to hear. And then I started listening to a bunch of, like, 90s pop. And I can hear... End of the Dark laid on top of Paula Abdul straight up, and it's actually really good. I haven't made it yet, but I might, because, like, it occurred to me, and then I started singing... I started, like, singing End of the Dark along with Straight Up, and it kind of worked, but I might have to... might have to pitch shift. Anyway. Yes. Also, orchestra hits. This is deep in Konami's orchestra hit phase, which was exciting. The Turtles in Time soundtrack is like non-stop. It's great. It's not quite as heavy as that. But... I wonder if it's the same composer. God. Kojima's whole thing has been really consistent over decades. That little logo... ニセン10年人類初のスペースコロニーイオンドコーストが完成し人類の地球への本格的進出が開始されたニセン13年コロニーへの一般市民の移住に伴い数十万の移住者たちの治安を守るため俺たち5人の宇宙訓練を受けた
before. So he's flipping the script quite literally. I think the idea is that we can all self-insert. I'm gonna shut up. Oh, we're all the frozen man. Waking up in the future. Look at that solid snake! Am I a joke to you, Kojima? There's like a 20 minute version of it on YouTube. That drop blows up every time. It never gets old. Ugh. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's so ostentatious. Oh my God. Ugh. Ugh. This it's definitely an ジョナサン・イングラム。30年前スペースコロニーの美音度コースとでポリスノーツとして働いていた。最も鉛筆事故で宇宙をさまよっていた俺には、わずか数年前に置いてきてしまった。あの事故で過去を失った俺は この汚れた町オールドエルエで寝腰へたまがいの探偵をしている。幼児誘拐や人身売買の寝腰へと身代金の仲介、脱獄犯の逮捕など、やばい依頼ばかりだ。だが、俺みたいな過去をなくした男には
But yeah, they pointed out how the like side colonies have to orbit around centers of gravity that also oscillate around the moon and the earth. Yeah, jacked. Kojima's always had a sense of style. Can't argue with that. Uh, and it's only like shown through more and more as the like, as the lens is able to widen out. I'll read some of this article. Thank you, Jonathan. Basic construction of the world's first outer space colony beyond coast, underway for several years near Lagrange Point L5, was completed yesterday. The first wave of immigration will be centered around scientists and engineers who will spend 14 months performing checks and gathering data. Immigration is scheduled to be opened to the general public in three years' time. Cool. Basic construction of the world's first outer space colony. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Headline reads, Long envisioned colony complete. New era for mankind begins. Cool. I have a model of Beyond on top of one of the filing cabinets. Well, let's go take a peek then. Miniature of Beyond. Ed made it for me. Ed's in a couple of pictures on the wall. I wonder if they're going to do that. Hmm. I wonder if they would like breadcrumb you towards the progression point with dialogue like that. Observations from the main character. It reminds me of that. It reminds me of this. Why not check that? I'm thinking way ahead of myself, but still. It was me and Lorraine on our wedding day. I was still a cop here in LA. Ugh, City of Angels, so they say. Lorraine dropped out of UCLA after we got engaged. Lorraine. Lorraine, my wife. 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 Awesome. I remember discovering my rental tux didn't fit right before the ceremony. I originally had a black, black tuxedo. Huh. Lorraine was like an angel in her wedding dress. I still wear my wedding ring. Huh. In those days, my life revolved around my job in Lorraine. So, are we actually going to play a character that doesn't let you on everything they see? Let's find out. I mean, it's that's actually kind of cute and uncommon. Not only for a noir detective, but for a Kojima protagonist. To still be in love with a wife that, like, is in the past. And still like honoring that relationship. That's weirdly, that's a weirdly mature kind of uh, life experience to write a character around. It's a photo of me and Lorraine at Lucas World. What, like George Lucas instead of Disney? I was a cop fresh out of the academy. Look at us, young and in love. We met after her place got broken into. She was so naive. The things she'd do sometimes. So there are little hints of, like, hitting things multiple times to get dialogue. Something's blinking. Oh, I guess it's my answering machine. That's probably what I have to answer to go forward, right? Let me check out this beer. It's a beer can. It's empty. They used to use aluminum for cans before, but ones are made from biodegradable plastic. Awesome. <laughs> no! Jonathan's not gonna creep on ladies. He still wears his wedding ring. He's devoted to his... his wife. Ready oil lighter? Manufacturer of the only lighter still in production. You don't need lighters or matches for today's bent cigarettes. Bent cigarettes are cigarettes that don't produce any secondary smoke, which you light simply by breaking off the end. I say light, but there's no actual fire involved. They work off a chemical reaction and even the leaves are specifically processed. They don't give off any smoke or ash and make a room more pleasant, but they're not my thing. Ha ha ha! He went on a whole... Techno babble explaining brand new techno cigarettes, and he was like, nah, I keep it old school. <sighs> yeah. Kojima Ko Kojima was the original pro vapor. Oh. Interesting. Eh? Huh. I guess you can kind of skip around the screen a little faster that way. The uh, shoulder buttons, like, move your cursor in quadrants, it looks like, but only left and right. Hmm. Let's look at my badge. 
It's the only thing keeping me from the chaos out there. This is a replica of the badge I had in LAPD. Sure does take me back. There's a picture from those days on the wall. Oh yeah. I mentioned the wall photos. This is a picture from me when I was in LAPD. Me and my partner Ed were always together. Edo Brown. Yeah, Lethal Weapon. The music stings are really awesome. And also the, the atmospheric audio is fantastic. Just the buzz of the cars and then the rise and fall of sirens occasionally. But it's, it's not super uniform white noise either, which is really nice. Me and Ed had been good friends since the Academy. We were a well-known team of narcotics. Ed was in the bomb squad just before he joined narcotics. There was a lot of terrorist activity back then. Back when? We stayed close when we were police knots, too. I haven't seen him since my accident. Yeah, 2010? This is an ashtray I stumbled across at an antique store. Wasn't easy finding one of these. You don't need an ashtray for bent cigarettes, after all. The butts are starting to overflow. I guess I should empty it. Hmm. Half empty can of beer. The only beer most people can afford anymore is this imitation beer. It sucks remembering how good a cold one used to be. Damn. Damn. Would you live in the cyber future if it meant you could not enjoy a satisfying cold one anymore some venetian blinds i found at an antique store i don't like the adjustable glass you get today I'll put them up so you can't see inside the office from outside makes sense i want to see outside the window though ah okay do, 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 do. this piece of paper with information on a client it has to look for their four-year-old son you just don't see many ransom kidnappings nowadays it's safer for the kidnaps to quickly sell off the victim's organs to buy- or to organ buyers, and they're guaranteed to see a return that way, too. I got a bad feeling about this one. A video phone with a built-in printer, though I've disabled the video from my end. Most of my cases come in over the phone. Clients don't particularly like meeting up in person. I've only spoken to Ed once since I was rescued. Using satellite connections still costs an arm and a leg. It's not like I can just call beyond anytime I want. Oh, he's still up there. Okay. But older? I'm way behind on my bill. I keep expecting to get cut off any day now. Alright. I should check the machine. Maybe there's a call from someone with a case. What's <laughs> <笑>仕事の依頼電話はないか。こちら水道局ですが、水道料金が未払いです。早急に納金してください。<笑> I mean, I am in LA and I have to double filter my water so it doesn't make my tummy upset. そうだ。俺は仕けてる。分かってるさ。くそ。仕事の依頼電話はないか。how many of these are there? Uh, 
I need to listen to more sultry sax. Soothe my soul. Alright, that's all messages listened to. Solid shift. Uh, I guess we'll go outside. I don't have anything to do outside, it's still early anyway. I'll wait here for that client to show. Oh. Okay, now we're now we're cooking, because I don't know what to do. Oh, I got this pen when I was in LAPD. The mayor gave it to me along with the award on the wall. Pretty nice pen for the time. The award on the wall, huh? I was given this award by the mayor back when I was a cop. Me and Ed were a well-known team in LAPD. This is the only award I've ever received for anything. I got the chief to nominate the two of us for the police knots thanks to this. These are books from the 20th century I found at an antique media store. From the days when a book meant like a or meant a real book, not software. Yeah. Seems to live in the past still. He sure does. He bought a lot of antique stuff. But he seems pretty pretty clear with himself emotionally about how these things are not valued now. They're all mystery novels. Lorraine's taste must have rubbed off on me. Cabinets are filled with information on past cases and clients. Not exactly a pleasant read, but the papers inside are worth their weight in gold. I need to get these organized. It'd be nice if I could hire an assistant or something, but it doesn't look like anyone's up for working in a place like this. I've had a help wanted sign posted by the entrance to the building for quite some time, but no takers. I'm sick of looking at papers. He doesn't want to open it now. <laughs> I don't want to. Jupo, thanks for the sub. This is an investigation report to a client, though I haven't gotten very far with it. It was another child kidnapping, but my negotiations with the kidnappers failed. I couldn't save the child. He's probably already been cut apart and his organs trafficked to buyers. Jesus. Even though the aesthetic looks a little cleaner, the story's already pretty gruesome. Sorry, kid. What is that? Yeah, need to see it. This is my baby. I'm Beretta 92F. I used one since I was a cop. She's a bona fide recoil gun equipped with a laser sight. I use a special 10 round magazines with an arm with armor plating bullets. I don't carry her so I can go around shooting everything in sight. She's strictly for protection. She saved my ass I don't know how many times. Ed used to make fun of me for the way I treated my old one. Uh, what about the prequel thon? I'll get back to it someday. Yeah, I think I have the, the episode 3 DS game. Doubt anyone else uses this kind of gun in the 21st century and everything. The birth of the colony age, nearly all guns are now lift guns. People don't use recoil guns in weightless environments for obvious reasons. But her, she's a part of me. <laughs> How romantic. These days, I have to go all the way to the edge of town to order the bullets. Bullets. It's a supposed LAPD police badge. This is ancient history now. Meaningless decoration, really. I guess you just have to keep looking at everything until you get double dialogue. Crumpled up piece of paper. I had it stuck to the phone. My desk is a total mess, come to think of it. Maybe I'll try putting a job ad in the paper. Client did a disappearing act on me. That happens a lot in the city. These mean streets. Oh, there we go. Oh, nope, he doesn't want to open them. There's plenty of guys who'd love to take a shot at me. These are all, man, oh shit, these are all different newspaper articles. 
This is how he's gonna make me learn about the, the backstory. This is a newspaper article about my accident that occurred during the EMPS spacewalk outside Beyond. It was written three years after the one about Beyond's completion. Headline reads, EMPS prototype malfunctions, place not Ingram missing. A picture taken during the test spacewalk. It was a prototype police suit for use outside the colony, the successor to NASA's MMU. This image was taken from a camera aboard a nearby space shuttle. This was me and the Yuri as we were released from the hangar. Oh. Okay. Picture of me taken around the time of the accident. I'll read some of the article. A malfunction occurred in the Vermeer thrusters of the Yuri EMPS prototype during a test spacewalk of the device yesterday. The Yuri had been scheduled to be used by the police knots outside the colony. The EMPS has since vanished without a trace. The Yuri is equipped with a survival ball. But just because an SOS signal can't be isolated, the chances of a test pilot Jonathan Ingram being found alive are thought to be slim. The official test had been scheduled for tomorrow. I remember what Salvatore said. Whatever you do, don't screw this up, Johnny boy. Everyone back home's gonna be wet watching. There were still a lot of people opposed to space development back then. It all happened so fast. Before I knew it, the four of them were gone. Everything after that's a blur. The next time I opened my eyes, I was lying on a hospital bed. Okay. Cool. This is a newspaper article from when I was rescued three years ago. It was written 25 years after the one about EMPS accident. The headline reads, 25 year lost voyage, police not Ingram's miraculous return. I spent 25 years inside this thing waiting to be found. I've had cosmophobia ever since. I just can't go back out there anymore. Oh, that's kind of fun. That's why he's so shut in. Police not Jonathan Ingram presumed dead after an accident during a spacewalk in an EMPS prototype 25 years ago has been rescued by the unmanned exploration vessel Propaganda. His miraculous survival is being attributed to the fact that he transferred himself to an equipped light life pod at the time of the accident and remained in cold sleep the entire time. He's gathering attention as a living example of the effects of 25 years of cold sleep on the human body. It took over a year for my muscles to return to normal after I got back. Damn. What's this? Oh, same thing? Okay, so it's all the same article. It's a relative this was a relatively small article in a corner of the newspaper. Huh. Okay. Did that one. This is a newspaper article reporting on the success of the first manned mission to Mars. I took part in it while undergoing my police knots training. It was written two years after the article about Beyond's completion. Paper of the CIS, the Commonwealth of Independent States. Oh. A picture of me encountering a Mars rover on the surface. I was sent to Mars with the Mars 96 mission. Cool, cool, cool. The four astronauts, among them police, uh, police not Jonathan Ingram of the collaborative Mars project between Russia, America, and Japan, touched down on the red planet yesterday. This new chapter in space history comes 40 years after man first set foot on the moon. Yeah, he skipped 25 years. Wait, what did he say? I haven't got anywhere else to go. The sun's just about to set. 
These are just about the only pictures I have left. I suppose I can pass the time with them. Yeah, I guess... I'm really curious about that. If they intentionally put in hooks to direct you to... <laughs> to whatever the game needs you to look at. I guess keeping you and your ex-wife's wedding photo around might be considered unusual. Especially when she's moved on. In those days, my life revolved around my job in Lorraine. A memory of my time with Lorraine. Young and in love. Yeah, I just had to look at him again. He's worried about getting shot, but the door is unlocked? I wonder if her legs go all the way up. Lorraine? Wife? Oh, is she, is she gonna give him permission? In this scene to hit on all the young girls? So. It's okay, Jonathan. I need you to hit on every woman you see. ロレイン。なぜ今になって俺のところに許してもらおうなんて思ってないわ。厚かましいのも分かってる。でも頼れる人がいないの。あなたしか。何があったんだ。助けてほしいの。私の夫が大変なことに。分かった。さあ、入って
I see. That's good to hear. Can I talk about myself more? There's still plenty of ways to make a buck around here for someone like me. I can imagine. They don't call it the Angelless City for nothing. Things are going all right. As long as I, you know, keep some realistic expectations, I'll survive. Tabako. これか。いや。地球ではまだそれほど肩身の狭い思いをしなくて済むんだ。昔は吸わなかった。あの頃はこれでも宇宙飛行士だったからな。本当のロスは北に移転しちまったかな。ただ、たまに今日みたいに雪が降るんだ。異常気象らしい。Snow in LA, huh? Wow. ロスに雪が降るなんて。例の地下鉄もスラム化が進んだんで廃止になってる。あの頃の友人も知人もいなくなっちまったが同じような仕事仲間はいるジョナさん結婚はその指輪いや自分のことで精一杯だこの指輪は君とのその時のものだ指輪の跡がかっこ悪くてね取れずにいる まだ私の写真飾ってくれてるのねああこれなんだか嬉しい俺にとってはつい昨日のことなんだごめんなさいごめんなさい。It's like the sound of uh, nostalgia, maybe? Yeah, the trumpet. I was just the the music changes are really good. I was just thinking about that. This game has, um, like it's already done a lot of re clever reusing of assets. The clip of like LA in the snow was in the intro. And then when we talk about LA, they cut to that. There's the shot of the photos on the desk. So out of this conversation, cut to that, cut back here. It's sort of like just reshuffling a lot of the assets they have to show them when topical. I guess that's the power of the PlayStation. It can actually like load and show things quickly enough to happen in sequence with conversation. But, uh, but yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of variety of assets, which I think contributes to this idea of production values. Um, you're always seeing something new, even if it's not necessarily new, but at least you're not just staring at like a still image with just a, fla a lip flap and then, yeah, there's a lot of, already a lot of effort put into making this seem like a very rich multimedia production, which I like. I mean, it's cool for the time, too. It was seeing games... Seeing production values leap around this time was really, really exciting. So the games that landed at a high mark in terms of production value for specifically that moment still have a lot of, like, sheen, and I think they fit their containers well. All right. I'm gonna keep talking about old LA, though. I plan on staying here the rest of my life. I have no intention of going back to space. I can smoke, smoke as much as I want that way, too. So what about my case? It's just that I like it here. I don't know, Lorraine. I don't know. On home, kidnappings are becoming almost as frequent as rapes and robberies. Trafficking people's more profitable than drugs or prostitution now. That's terrible. It's surprising to hear about a case like yours these days. So you'll help me? I need to hear more about the situation first. It's even more dangerous here now than when I was a cop. Just be careful, okay? The police aren't equipped to handle certain types of cases, so that makes it easier to get work. Plus, we have our negotiator privileges. Negotiator privileges? 
were permitted a certain level of police authority in the interest of public safety. You know, like entering a house related to an investigation or being allowed to own certain guns you normally can't. Okay, I gotta walk the ask tree now. So you want me to look for him? Please help my husband. Please find him. You're the only person I've got. Hard to look for somebody when you don't know what they look like. I've got a photo of him with me. Hey, Green Gobshite. Thanks for the sub. Guess who has a 14 month sub anniversary and just got their short story accepted for publication? That guy. Very nice. Congratulations. That's really cool. You are now, you will soon be a published author. You can introduce yourself as that. How cool is that? Hello. My name is. My name is Mr. Gobshite, published author. Esquire. You have any kids, Lorraine? I have a daughter. Her name's Karen. Oh no. Oh no. Why did you have to have a daughter? Well, she has to be of age, right? God, please let her be like in her 20s. <laughs> Damn it. I don't want to ask about that. But they're gonna they're gonna make me. It's just the three of us, my husband, my daughter, and me. We all live together on Beyond. So your daughter is living there too. Karen is a news anchor on Beyond. A news anchor, huh? Well that means she has to be a functioning adult, so that's good. She's pretty famous there. Okay. She'll be 27 soon. She's still single. Okay, all right. That's creepy, though. Hitting on your, like... Half-daughter? No? Daughter-in-law? No? What is your ex-wife's daughter to you? You're not <laughs> yeah nothing totally fine totally fine the wait she's 27 wait a minute I went on ice 25 years ago thinking too hard I think I'm thinking the correct amount I think this is a normal amount of thinking to go into something like hey I'm getting ahead of myself we haven't uh Kojima hasn't gone there yet hard to believe you have a 26 year old daughter I am 55 now remember I do remember that yeah you won't you won't sit down because you're too old and haggardly she's single uh-huh what's beyond like these days like you were saying, this place doesn't look like it's changed much. Beyond's different. A lot different. You wouldn't recognize it either. Everything's settled down there. It's pretty much like any ordinary city now. Beyond will be celebrating its 30th anniversary this year. Things have slowly gone downhill over the years, though. You're always looking over your shoulder wherever you go now, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I read ya. It's always been that way in the city. Kenzo Hojo. Kimigasaikonstahojo. There's like a transparency grid behind her head. Lady, that's just a bad Photoshop. 
強引だな。Marriage to Hojo. How did you guys meet? I moved to Beyond right after you went missing. Uh, after how much you hated it? I just wanted to be closer to you any way I could. I met Kenzo at that Nihonjin Matsuri run by Tokugawa. Nihonjin Matsuri? It's a festival for Japanese people on Beyond. So why were you there? I have Japanese blood too, remember? Aha.、Uh -huh. Forgive me, Jonathan. I couldn't have survived on my own. I was lonely. I wanted someone to be there. That's when Kenzo came along. Talking about Tokugawa? Can you give the Cliffs notes on what this game is? I mean, it's kind of like Snatcher. I'm a, I'm a dude who was frozen in space for like 25, 27 years, whatever. Now I'm a independent, I'm a private eye in old LA. Tracking down cases in the CD underbelly of, of cyberpunk Los Angeles.、Uh, there's also a space station, and I guess they're colonizing Mars.、But、yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, 28 years. All right. All right, fine. All right, fine. The timeline barely works out then. The conglomerate's reach doesn't stop it beyond. Tokugawa, that is. Essentially runs space and Joseph Sadaoki Tokugawa runs the group. He's just as well known on home as he is out here. If Hojo's a Tokugawa employee, then I suppose I can't totally rule out he was kidnapped. You could get good money out of that, I'd imagine. No one on Beyond would even think of messing with Tokugawa. They're too afraid of re retaliation. It wouldn't be worth it. Noticed anything unusual about your husband before he disappeared? All the years I knew him, he'd been your typical company employee. He'd get up, leave for work, and then come walking through the door at the end of the day. Same schedule, day in, day out. Quite a change from my hours. For the past few months, he'd become more、mm, unpredictable, you might say. Now you can't really draw anything concrete from.、Uh, <laughs> concrete? Concrete? You can't really draw anything concrete from that. Think you'd become involved in something though? That's my gut feeling, yeah. If there were indicator or indications of some sort of trouble beforehand, the chances of it being a ransom kidnapping are pretty slim. He'd become angry and frightened. I wasn't like him. Never seen him break down like that before. So you're saying someone might have been targeting him for some reason? He never told me what was going on, whatever it was. Clues. Ask about clues. Lorraine, Kimi no can dake dewa, wakaranaina. Nani got tegakari ni nari yona mono. Hojo kara azukatte iru mono ga aru no. Capsule zaito, hano kirehashi nan dake do. Piece of a leaf? Nan daka wakaranai kedo. Jiu yona mono ra shi wa. カプセルと墓自分に何かあったらこれを警察か信用のできる人のところへ届けるようにって信用のできる人かね蒸発なんかじゃないでしょ I like that there's more than just one kind of blinking light if that makes sense there's like the blue and the red one and they both cast different shadows on her so they're coming from different angles Mr. Marathi, I'm playing this on、uh, Retro Arch. Retro Arc. Whatever. And sorry to, to address your previous question. It's not hard at all to find the English patch or even a pre English or a, a ROM with a patch pre applied. Capsules. Dodge Karademo Inga. Soreva? Korega Sono Capsule, yo. Those are some great pre rendered capsules. Tokugawa say a cunny can't kiss the monodaroka. Corre, as a cut the cutter. Wants me to get the capsules analyzed. Oh, wow. The, so the menu option skips to the next one. 
if you like, well, I guess no, it removed capsules from the list. So that's kind of interesting that it'll remove something when there's no more discussions to be had about it. じゃあ、もう一つの。その葉の切れ端ってのは。これがその葉よ。見たことのない肌は。しかしなぜ半分なんだろう。最初から半分だったわ。預かってくださる。それ。Analyze leaf. Any other clues besides what you just gave me? See, I went back to the first dialogue option and there's new dialogue there. You've been talking about something lately, actually. Turns out if Tokugawa was involved, that could complicate things. Maybe not? Jonathan was like, uh, a family must be nice. I don't know how exhaustive I have to be with combing through these lists multiple times. Tokugawa took advantage of space development boom more than anyone. They essentially become a power, or become, or, uh, they have the power to shape space's economy however they want. Is there a second wave of Japan bashing going on there? No, it's just the opposite. Thanks to Tokugawa, the colony's economy is flourishing. But everything else is another story. Oh, it's all seedy and deep. Dank. So, the Plato. Could he have said Pluto? <laughs> to be honest, I'm not sure anymore. We still haven't been to Pluto, though. You don't know you need to do a Kimi no Hanashi Tai Tai Wakata. Tashkani Tadano Jo Hatsiana Sasoda. Jonasan, she can get a credo, I own it. Okanena Shimpai Shinaite. Okaneva Doru? Eng? Matu Credo Rain. You can decline the case? What happens if you do that? <sighs> Hold on. Uh. Okay, I'm going to be a filthy emulator and save a state because I'm curious what happens if you decline the case. She's probably just going to be like, you can't, and then it'll come back here, right? Lorraine, この仕事は今の俺には荷が重すぎる。よければ他の同業者を紹介する。みんな少し気が荒いが信用できる奴らばかりだ。ジョナサン、私あなたを苦しめるつもりで来たんじゃないわ。誰も頼れる人がいないの
I'm just checking where I'm at. Yeah, exactly, Bleakers, exactly. A, uh, a but thou must situation. I think about but thou must a lot. To me, but thou must is like emblematic. By the way, sorry, that that's what that, that's what happens in Dragon Quest if you turn down the main story. It just says, but thou must, and then dumps you back to the dialogue. To me, that's emblematic. Like, that is storytelling in all games. It's uh It's the it's the purest form of like. No, you have to. <laughs> kind of. And then also just like having basically not investing any time in the route the player is obviously not going to take. Uh, yes, General, I have seen Unicorn Overlord. And yeah, Ogre Battle with Dragon's Crown uh, is a really good way to describe it. I haven't played it yet, because, like, I don't know. I want it on PC. I'm, I'm a dweeb. I think what I might do is buy it on Switch, and then that way I can play it on PC. If you, if you know what I'm saying. If you know what I mean. If you know what I'm saying. But part of that is kind of getting a new setup, which, uh, thanks to some recent bullshit, might be a little more complicated than it used to be. I'm going to go get a protein bar. worried about uh the the software itself i'm more concerned about the the other stuff decrypting uh you know keys and shit like that i think some of those some of that stuff seems like it's been driven to ground a little bit uh it was already happening last time i tried to get yuzu all up to date i had to i had to go a couple layers deep to find some of those scripts that would like decrypt keys because that's that's the real shit they don't want you to have anyway decline case Today was a leg day, everybody. Leg day. Did my heavy deadlifts today. And front squats. Which always makes me think I'm developing a front butt. Jonas。この仕事は今の俺には苦が重すぎる。良ければ他の同業者を紹介する。みんな少し気が荒いが信用できる奴らばかりだ。私、あなたを苦しめるつもりできたんじゃないわ。誰も頼れる人がいないの。週末までビバリーヒルズの front butt? Well, if you do back squats to make your back butt pop out, the doing front squats is going to make your front butt. 私許してもらおうなんて思ってない。あなたの帰りを待ちきれなかったの。ごめんなさい。あなたが救出された時、私心から嬉しかった。もっと早かったらすぐにでもあなたのところへ飛んで行けたのに。それが言いたかった。ロレイン、ここへはどうやって？ホテルで車借りたの。クラシックな感じの。That crazy stupid tower defense looking game from Future Games came out today. Yeah, I saw that it had like a a really, really, really soon release date. Awesome. Yeah, I can't wait to check that out. There's that, and then also, um, I saw Eurogamer posted a really glowing review for a game called Time Melters, which I messed around a little bit with. It started to work its magic on me. Hmm. Yeah, I'm excited to check out that tower defense game. Oh. Time Melter's also kind of tower defense. Blink and chip. Thanks for the sub.
That's how we start a game. Whoa! Oh! It's got lethal enforcer style, like background stuff. Oh, this is so cool! Oh! It even has like a uh, Konami hit sound effects. That little burp. Oh, I see his feet. <laughs> oh! God, that, that gunshot is phenomenal. Ooh, a strip club filled with so-called women who have undergone complete sex changes. I was inside for a case once. Oh, Jonathan, watch out. They're called biovestites. People who have had sex changes through gene therapy. I mean, that's pretty sick, actually. They can hit you with the the genetic recombinator or whatever. Zoom. Your dick falls off. Finally. The city's famous for him, unfortunately. What do you mean, unfortunately, Jonathan? What do you mean? Oh. Go inside, Jonathan. Oh, fine. The Biovestite Club is next to the Ravioli Company. Nah, Tomax, I mean, I'm still playing Dragon's Dogma 2. Or at least I intend to. But I was also just really excited to play Police Knots. I had the intro song stuck in my head. I'm just wiggles! I'm just wiggling. Thanks for gifting 10 subs. There's some good names in there, I see. Airport Cinnabon. <laughs> That's a really good name. Raised on Rambo for 20 Santa. Some familiar names too. Keeks. Shaft of Justice. Dope Quaka. You do love to see it. Thank you. Thank you for, for a carpet bombing chat like that. It's very generous of you, Wiggles. That's a lot of money. Sorry, I was chewing a particularly chewy bite. A protein bar, because holy shit. Kojima's going for it, man. It comes off as some innocent little bistro, but the real business is selling VR child porn. Damn. Kojima's really going for it in this game. Like, a lot of kids stuff. Harvesting kids' organs? They want you to know that old L.A. is brutal. That was synth blood. Yatsu, where are you going? Oh, I'm not going to die. ここには雪が入っ
So we got the synthetic blood from Alien. It's a plot of this one, also Blade Runner esque. It's noir. And in that way, it's kind of like Blade Runner. You're a detective in LA. I'm not trying to chase down robots, though. Even though I'm literally chasing a robot right now. <laughs> Yeah, uh, oh, dirty words and everything. This was done with spray paint. This doesn't look like blood. Biodegradable plastic? Yeah, right. I like my plastics microed. Yeah, this uh this game's surprisingly edgy. You wouldn't like I guess the beginning is rather clean. The imagery of the space station. And then I guess you get a you don't necessarily get like as many this is a shithole shots in the intro with this game as you really did with Snatcher. I guess it was just that one scene of like the dudes knife fighting and then panning shots at the skyline. This is where his blood stops too. You could easily be inside here. Looks like it's full of garbage. Don't seem to be any blood stains on it. Better be careful. It's too dark. Huh. These pipes, they have barbed wire on them. I doubt anyone could climb them. There aren't any blood stains on them either. I have to look at the drum. God, look at that life meter. Do they want me to blast the... They want me to blast it? Is that what you want me to do? You just want me to start blasting? Alright. Oh, nice! Yes, sir! No. It's not that complicated, really. Yatsa. Like these bongos. これは文字のようだ。さっきのゴミ箱の落書きとは質が違うようだ。舐めたやろうだ。挑戦状のつもりか。Has anyone checked on Lorraine since she blew up? No. That's not the fun part of this. The fun part is getting revenge. She'll hang in there. Also, it wouldn't be the first time she didn't wait for us, so whatever. I need to hurry. I should check this area out a little more. Empty. 
more boxes. He's not here. So why are you making me look? Can I go now? Even if you use the boxes as a foothold, you still wouldn't get anywhere. Yep. Had to look at an empty doorway. Oh. You lost him. How often did they hit that? I did not know that was that was liberally sprinkled across all the police knots. So prologue, that's what that was. Do do do. Oh, okay. Never mind. This is Lorraine quietly dying on the sidewalk. Lorraine. <laughs> My wife. You saw the solid snake sign? I really hope there's a scene where I'm sitting in the plane seat waiting for the plane to land and just like looking around. This is pretty good too. Oh, he's got a cigarette in his mouth. On a plane? A space plane? いや、まだ大丈夫。気を紛らわすには話すのが一番です。隣に座ったのも何かの縁です。よろしくね。私は。Tony Redwood. Tony Redwood. Tony Redwood has sold me three trucks. イングラムです。よろしく。Jonathan Ingram, it's me. I look like hell right now. Was it kind of hard to stay objective? Or kind of hard trying to judge myself objectively? That's so weird because like... Wait. They're kind of bending the rules. Because he's looking at himself, but there's no mirror. So he's... Like, they're kind of acknowledging that we are controlling what he's looking at. I don't know. It's weird. Also, I looked at his watch and then Redwood's the first person to talk. 
which is weird. You don't see many watches like that nowadays. Is that a radio controlled type? Yeah, this model is actually one of the first watches ever used in outer space. It's been modified to a radio controlled watch. That, that's very cool. What sort of badge is that? Oh, just this thing I have. Kind of a good luck charm. My police knots badge I always wear around my neck. So he wears that even though he's not a police knot and that's not a thing. What's that crest on your jacket? This is the police knots crest. Police knots, they're from back in the day. You must have a real thing for them. Why is his hand all bandaged up? Let's find out. I see you injured your arm. I just burned it a little. Ah, must be painful. Ah, the best environment for treating a burn is zero gravity. <laughs> you mind if we talk? What is it? Hmm. Oh yeah, I didn't use the show command in my conversation with Lorraine at all. But I guess I'd just be showing her the things she gave me because that's kind of what's in the list. <sighs> Let's leave with the police knots photo though. A police knots photo? Why am I not surprised? Yeah, accurate. It's about as rare as that crest. You must have a real thing for them. You seem like an old fashioned kind of guy. Yeah, you could say I don't keep up with all the trends. Okay, let's ask about his background. Jesus, Jonathan! Why is your skin that color? You can't just ask someone that. I wonder about that. Actually, if you, like, if you got frozen for 27 years or whatever, you'd wake up and accidentally do all kinds of things you're just not allowed to do anymore. And everybody would be like, oh my god! Like, I thought I just... I was asking what was in the food. <laughs> you can't do that. It's classist. Because you're forcing somebody to acknowledge the quality of their ingredients? I don't know. I'm just making it up. Because of my artificial blood. My red blood cells are actually white. White blood. I used first generational artificial blood, which is less complex than the third generation kind you see on home. Are you from beyond? Yes, I was born and raised there. I had a family matter to attend to on home. And yourself, you're a terrestrial? Eh, not exactly, I used to be an amphibian. You know, going back and forth between home and beyond. An amphibian, you were one of the amphibians? It was a long time ago, back when we were called astronauts. Uh huh. Whew. It might not take much sense, or it might not make much sense to terrestrials, but beyond is home to me. Okay, let's ask about his job. First generational artificial blood. Are you military? Something like that. Yes, I am a frozener, after all. Well, that's a new word. Yeah, Kojima's done it again. Rosener's. So what about that injury to your arm? Yes, what about it? Uh, never mind. What? You must be a pretty busy guy. Not really, no. After all, space has been at peace the entire century. <sighs> what you got to say about Beyond? It's a very nice place. It has 1G artificial gravity and its own plant life. Terrestrials enjoy it a lot there, too. If you want detailed information, you should talk to the stewardess. It'll be hitting its 30th birthday soon. Our festivities going on all over Beyond to mark the anniversary. Tell me about Frozeners. Frozener is someone created from an artificially fertilized egg held in cryogenic storage by the government or the breeders, as some people call them. The breeders. The egg is later transferred to a surrogate mother for gestation and delivery. Oh yeah, I heard a little bit about them. 
The straights are at it again. <laughs> yeah. The straights have come up with another way. They got a new thing in town. There's still a severe shortage of manpower in space development. Oh, okay, so it's just like mass fertilization? You you sound like I'm boring you. <laughs> All Frozeners have an identification code like this tagged onto our foreheads. Surprising as it might seem. There's a great number of Frozeners on Beyond. There's no discrimination against us on Beyond like there is on Home. If anything, we're considered superior. Cool. How about that artificial blood? What does having artificial blood do for somebody? Artificial blood has a higher oxygen transportation efficiency than normal blood. So it makes heavy blood loss less of a life-threatening condition. The body's functions aren't negatively affected in areas of low oxygen density either. Yeah, that's perfect for people working in space. So why hasn't it been adopted for widespread use? A normal person's kidneys and lungs wouldn't be able to process this type of artificial blood. You need to make slight improvements to the kidney and lungs via gene therapy and also undergo regular hemodialysis. That requires incredible amounts of money and the proper facilities. I guess we can't expect the public to be on it anytime soon then. Wow. Thank you, Kojima. How about that arrival time? When are we going to arrive? You just passed the halfway point. Ugh. You look concerned with the time. I just can't seem to settle down. Halfway point? We still have a while to go yet. So is that like... Is this real time? I don't know. Or do you just have to like hit as many dialogue options as you can? Look at his tie. Are you really that surprised to see a Frozener? Oh yeah, kinda. Sorry if I've offended you. This is the first time I've met one of you guys. Just be careful when you're on Beyond. People there don't like to see discrimination against us. But you said there was no discrimination there, didn't you? Yes, between the Beyonds, there isn't. Were you really an amphibian? A long time ago. A long, long time ago. Yes. I wanted to ask about his tie. Remarkable, isn't it? An emotionless vacuum, signing all but the tiniest of organisms. Moving your head a lot will only make your SAS worse. <laughs> ah, I wanted to talk about his... his... Oh, you can call the stewardess? There's a button to call the stewardess and a button for the TV there. I'll call the stewardess over. Oh my! Kojima! はい、どうなさいましたか。顔色が悪いですね。不注意ですか。Get uh, uh, a snack. Oh, we just did. ありがとう。何か私にできることございますか。Oh. Uh we have cursor control and that's not good. You're really cute. Your face is a little chubby, though. Gaming. You're a little fat! <laughs> How did this plane take off? Yeah, Jonathan... Jonathan could really, like, smooth it out a little bit. In zero gravity, your blood collects in the upper half of your body. Causing your face to swell a little. It's called Moon Face. Kojima is a world builder, right? Builder of worlds. These girls ain't fat, they just have Moon Face. <laughs> Oh, 
it's gonna. I keep thinking about Moon Phase. It's real? Okay. So Kojima was just like reading everything about space he could and he needed to figure out a way to cram in a Moon Phase reference. So good though. I'm looking again. I think I'm gonna enjoy my trip if there are girls as beautiful as you there. I'll take that as a compliment. Let's chat it up. Excuse me? Yes? Oh boy, I can really just run the whole whole game out with her. I hope at some point she's like, I have to go, <laughs> and then just takes off. All right, beyond. Beyond Coast, mankind's first space colony was completed in 2010. Since immigration was open to the general public in 2013, the colony's population has grown to approximately 1 million people. Nearly one third of the current population is composed of second generation inhabitants. Oh my god! There's so much to talk about. Well, first of all, the colony is a cylinder type. It's 6.5 kilometers in diameter and 32 kilometers in length. It makes one complete rotation every two minutes, creating artificial gravity virtually equal to that of Earth's 1G. The colony's surface and mirrors are divided into three sections around its central axis, with each section having an area of 90 square kilometers. It's the first and last O'Neill-type colony! Beyond isn't as far from Earth as some people think. It's approximately 380,000 kilometers from Earth, which is about the same distance between the Earth and the Moon. Okay. I'll explain again. <laughs> The plane. Ah! What is your problem, Kojima? Why do we have to know about the toilets on the plane? I mean, I'm glad, I'm glad we do. We'll get there. Tell me about the plane's meals? We do need to know. We do. This is just part of world building. Normally, we would spend the night in an orth orbiting Earth orbiting space station and then travel the rest of the way in an orbital transfer vehicle. But this is a direct flight to beyond, which takes about two days, so we'll be there soon. Tur Turlets. In attendance with stricter space debris regulations, the plane doesn't eject waste out into space like before. Oh gosh. So. A plane probably got railgunned by a frozen turd going, like, orbiting orbiting Earth at 500,000 kilometers per second. <laughs> this show did, or sorry, this game is reminding me a bit of Planetes. Which came out far after, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you won't get the chance to see any space fireflies like Project Mercury's astronaut Glenn or Milky Ways like Aurora 7's astronaut Carpenter. Oh, come on. What are we talking about? What are these references? Are they talking about what it, what it looks like when you piss in space? Hold on. Milky Way. I'm asking again because I want to look this up now. Oh. The toilet uses a vacuum waste collection system, so it might feel a little ticklish. Ticklish. I see that part hasn't changed. Ah, oh, they're not gonna they're not gonna say it again. Milky Ways. I wish I'd written down the astronauts that were name dropped, because you probably have to c connect that with it. Jonathan is sitting in a chair for this conversation, so I don't know why she's like two arms up with hips to the side, but she's just having a good time. That's fine. Space food has vastly improved over the years and is actually quite tasty now. Following the latest trends on Earth, we even offer Japanese cuisine as well. However, because flavors aren't preserved very well under low air pressure, we don't bother using any exotic flavorings in our food. <laughs> why bother? Space travel also causes changes in your body's internal secretions and metabolism, which can affect your sense of taste. You may not be completely satisfied with certain aspects of the food, but we ask for your understanding. It's kind of interesting. Passengers. The fuel tank, which contains liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, is considerably big, 
so there's only enough seating for space for 30 people, including crew. Huh. Since there are less than 30 passengers, there are no separate classes on board. Something tells me Jonathan might love separated class. I've noticed it's extremely silent, or extremely quiet on board. And the walls of the plane are reinforced with piezoelectric elements. They cancel out the noise from the plane by bending in the opposite direction of the vibrations outside. That's why it's that's why it was so quiet when we were leaving the atmosphere, was it? There are optical fibers running all over the body of the plane. If any problems should occur outside, we'll know right away. World of difference from the shuttles we had 30 years ago. Sensors on the outside of the plane check for any changes in conditions, like pressure or temperature, and automatically make adjustments to the plane's course accordingly. Huh. The plane, unlike a conventional airplane, is a flat-lifting body. Yeah, the actual plane itself creates lift, not just the wings, right? Yes, that's why the wings are so small. Ah, here we go. Space fireflies, is theorized to be urine that had been injected into space and would of course become ice and would then reflect sunlight to an astronaut's view. He had described them as fireflies. Okay, that makes sense. Little piss crystals floating around. I know a little about the old shuttles myself. Piss crystals. How much longer till we arrive? We're not far from beyond now. Sure, my police knots photo. You recognize this photo? Yes, I've seen it in the textbooks. They were Beyond's original cops. Show it again. You're going to Beyond to learn about the police knots, are you? There's an exhibition on the police knots at the Astronauts Memorial Museum. Nice. You think you could give me something for my SAS? That must be really uncomfortable for you, but these things do take a while to take effect, you know. You might not need it in a little bit. Yeah, I know. I'd still rather take something. I think you'll be alright. We'll be arriving at Beyond shortly. Let's tough it out. Okay, I'll pass. Oh, here we go. Finally. Uh, at least it's contained. At least it's its own thing. And it's not just mercilessly inserted into normal civilized conversation. All right, Kojima. If you're free, how about showing a stranger around beyond? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Do it again. How does you and me having dinner underneath the stars after we land sound? I'm trying to do my job here, you know. Do it again. Oh. Uh, what should I do? Yep. I've become a problem. The Milky Way was poop burning up, apparently. Excellent. Excellent. And now he sounds like Gillian, just completely insistent. Oh, the medical definition of space adaptation syndrome, or SAS, is the symptoms one experiences during adaptation to zero gravity. It varies from person to person, but over 50% of people develop symptoms within one or two hours of entering weightlessness. Much was revealed about the nature of SAS after the turn of the century. The previously held barony theory was rejected with the cause of SAS now said to be a vestibular disorder. The vestibular system undergoes a paralysis throwing off one center of balance. It's called the vestibular disorder theory. It states that several organs that perceive gravity are involved with this disruption, not just the otoliths of the inner ear. Treatment. Generally speaking, the most effective form of treatment available would be to give an intramuscular injection of promethazine. But because SAS varies from person to person, there are currently no medications capable of alleviating all its symptoms. While it's somewhat rudimentary, keeping your head as still as possible will reduce a lot of the discomfort. Yeah, this, this flight attendant knows a lot. She's used to having to talk people through flights, I guess. 
Symptoms include dizziness, cold sweats, vomiting, headache, and fatigue, and are often accompanied by a false feeling of falling over that doesn't occur in normal motion sickness. <sighs> the longest they last is about two days, however, so I think you should be feeling better pretty soon. Let's ask about zero gravity's effects. There is no hydrostatic pressure in zero gravity, so much of your body fluids collect in the upper half of your body in an attempt to evenly distribute them. When this happens, your body thinks the amount of blood in the bloodstream has increased, causing the brain to send a message to the kidneys. Basically, you end up having to urinate more often. There are efforts underway to try and control this misperception in the brain through methods like biofeedback and yoga. Damn, he's going deep, man. Also, because your bones, joints, and muscles don't undergo any stress in zero gravity, your bone cells lose their calcium. Long-distance spaceships create artificial gravity through centrifugal force, but the only thing you can do to prevent calcium loss on this type of plane is exercise. We have equipment such as ergometers, treadmills, and resistance bands on board. You could also try chewing some gum made from the leaf of a hardy rubber tree. Leaf, you say? What if I show her my leaf? And not in a biblical way. Any idea what kind of leaf this is? It doesn't look familiar, no. Don't forget that if you're taking plants into beyond, they need to be inspected at the spaceport. This music is so jaunty. Okay, I think I've asked about everything. How about now? We're not far from beyond now. I'll just show her everything in my pockets. Capsules. You've seen capsules like this before? I mean, she knows so much about everything. Oh, you're carrying medication. <laughs> I shouldn't have shown her that. Show her my smoking hot ex-wife. What do you think of this picture? She blew up, you know. Ah, oh, she's beautiful. This is the photo of me and Lorraine from when we went to Lucas World. The one I had sitting on my desk back in my office. Never hurts to think ahead. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't flash my gun. Yeah. Check out my dead wife. <laughs> nice, right? Maybe I should just take... Fuck, I'll just take the medicine. Here was a relax effects then. Relax effects? Who makes this? Tokugawa Pharmaceuticals. Tokugawa Pharmaceuticals, huh? Thanks. Here goes nothing. Gorp. <laughs> there was a little gorp. I like it. All right, thanks. Thanks for the pills. Have her stay. Can you stay a little longer? Certainly. Okay, just so you can continue leering. Oh, still, we're still talking about stuff. A life pod, is that like a survival ball? No, a life pod has room for 30 people. In the event we have to use a life pod, remember that you would be putting on your spacesuit first. Those are stored up above. The life pod is only there in case of emergency. Try to relax and enjoy the flight. We store hard spacesuits for everyone in there. They're designed to open in the event of an emergency. All right, yeah, we gotta look at it, right? Your uniform has a nice color. It really brings out your curves too. You may not know that we wear a rubber undershirt, too. It helps prevent the muscles from atrophying in zero gravity. That's kind of cool, actually. Good for her, like, deflecting. Contrary to its appearance, this is an excellent material for zero gravity. It doesn't feel very comfortable, though. Well, as long as it looks good. As long as it looks good. <laughs> That's a really tight skirt. This is a special skirt designed to prevent SAS. It works just like my shirt. It puts pressure on the abdomen to prevent excess blood from moving to the upper half of the body as much as possible. Our entire uniform is designed this way. Oh, there's a lot of science actually, yeah. What is that? Ah, there's one more line. You have exquisite legs. Thank you, but in zero gravity, the legs appear thinner than normal because your blood collects in the upper half of your body. It's called bird leg. Goddamn bird leg, moon face to tend it. I got a mean case of the bird legs. 
Yeah, this is not her first creep deflection. She's. I like how she has fun facts ready for every every way that dudes can like creep up on her. <sighs> Love you, Kojima. This is one of the effects of zero gravity, as I was mentioning before. T oh, come on, Jonathan. Not acceptable. Not acceptable. Look at the light. That light's hurting my eyes. Speaking of dizziness, I am feeling a little dizzy all of a sudden. It must be from that light. Ugh. It's blinding. It's so bright. Ugh. God. It's awfully bright. It's not that bright, dude. It's a light. Come on. I think I'm gonna... Oh, no. I already did that. Yeah. Do I have to pinch her? Damn it. All right. Gamers. Don't do this. All right. We all know that, though. You know, that's what video games are. It's just things we're not allowed to do in real life, right? You think I can get thrown off the... off the plane? <sighs> it is for science, and I'm glad you acknowledge that. What if I close my eyes while I hit the button? Then it doesn't count. <sighs> oh, at least he's asking. Would it bother you if I touched your legs? Ah, get your hands off me! I just thought I'd take a hands-on approach to learning about the effects of zero gravity, that's all. Man, good for her. Hit him with some space mace. Uh, miss? Flirt again. Oh, I can't promise you anything, but I'll think about it. We're leveling up, folks. Really? Anything better now? What the? Oh. I don't quite understand that interaction. But... Uh -huh. Alright, you can go now. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. Come again if you need anything. Uh. Yeah, Gillian mostly kept his, his hands to himself. He asked, all right, he asked. While like leering. Doing this with his fingers. Might if I get a little grab of that leg. Just one little grab. Yeah, why isn't he grabbing this dude's leg? He probably has bird legs too. お疲れ様でした。東京は間もなく祇園の高層中港に到着いたします。到着ロビーにて国際宇宙検疫制度に従った消毒殺菌、入国手続きをお願いいたします。なお、ただいま準スト職員状態を配りしております。フライト中に体
ビヨンドコースト天と地が一つに見えるところここは本当のあの世ビヨンドかもしれん Is it really like Is it really just Jonathan like slapping her tit? 地球でのネゴシエーター特権もここでは通用しまい一人で北条の行方を探すのは困難かもしれないエド・ブラウンに協力を仰ぐのが賢明だろう奴なら快く引き受けてくれるはずだエドはビヨンド警察 BCP にいる、like、four more ladies you can do it to? 50代半ばのはずボリスノーツ時代から、uh, BCP でも出世してるに違いない念のためにポリスノーツ時代の写真とロレインの写真を持ってきた何かの役に立つかもしれない BCP はこの宇宙港の近くにあるはず oh, you just click your titty and it like jiggles? まずはエドを探しに BCP へ行そう How did I miss that? Displaying information about space plane departures and arrivals. Can't get over how many flights there are. It's a jumbo TV screen. It's showing news from BBC. Yeah, I respect women too much, clearly. Passengers everywhere. Space is within the reach of the common man now. Music is awesome. Maybe I'll watch a little of the news first. Ooh, get up to speed on some things. Hey, there she is. Can't wait to click on those titties. Konnichiwa, new soda no jikan d e s ビヨンド内でパーソナルバーチャルの映像を見つけたら、私たちは販売していたゴールド映像の関係者3名と PVR に出演していた AVR 女優2名が検挙されました。調べを受けたゴールド映像では、これまで50タイトル以上もの PVR 用わいせつソフトを通信販売、年間50億円もの荒稼ぎを行っていた模様です。今回 AVR 女優までもが検挙されたというケースは初めてのことですわいせつ AVR は手軽に家庭内で遊べることから未成年への悪影響が問題沙汰されていた矢先のことでした、so、going full Texas? ここでもポルノ VR が流行してるらしいな VR ポルノ Kids watching VR ポルノ以上 BBC からお伝えしましたはい、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、私はこれを見つけたら、I kind of miss the Edgelord days, so it's fine. It doesn't bother me at all. It's just interesting to observe. Yes, Triggs. This is a Kojima game. Ha! <laughs> of course. Yeah, college dude bro edge, for sure. ナークはアヘンから作られる合成麻薬でモルヒネ型依存症状と LSD などの幻覚誘発症状を持ち込まれた麻薬の帝王と言われるものです宇宙推進事業団によりますと宇宙開発におけるナークの依存度は 30% を超えると報告されており A third of people in space use NARC は増加の傾向にあるとの見解です Okay, how do you use it? Do you smoke it? Do you inject it? 
以上 BBC からお伝えしました You gotta shove it in your butt Exactly Pheasant Chromatic Thanks for the sub There more? Can't wait Can't wait to see all the news You have to ask Boo if you're a narc それでは次のニュース。Jiggle it. Tap on it till it jiggles. 今、全世界的に移植用臓器が不足しています。宇宙開発における宇宙環境の影響により、人体へのさまざまな障害が起こっています。無重力状態や宇宙船などにより、臓器の疾患が非常に急増しており、このままでは自分な移植が賄えないとドナー不足に対する大きな不安が寄せられています Thank you. 宇宙推進事業団ではホームの移植更新国などにドナーネットワークへの加入を呼びかけています以上 BBC からお伝えしました You guys want to crush some space vent? Keep watching. How many of these are there? Okay. Genzai, beyond n i d e n Nark t u d o a q u s o Wait, no, this is different. Zita yo mokumita BCP dewa, beyond deno Nark Konzet so Hakartame. Special NARC task force. Oh, wait, no, it's the same. NARC is a very good thing. 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 NARC is a 宇宙でのナーク中毒者は増加の傾向にあるとの見解に至っております。Yeah. You know, sure、以上、BBC からお伝えしました。A space joint is like a normal joint, except it has a little antenna poking out of it. Okay, we've caught up on the events of the day, I suppose. Wait, why would I go to gate 28? Let's go see Dan Brown. BCP. BCP. Whoa! Cool transition. The sun rays. BCP. So, I don't need to be able to eat. These play suits BCP uses look like something you take to war. Kind of pathetic, they gotta depend on these. They're not cool like me. Beyond Coast Police Department. Looks like the entrance. That's rad. Some really、uh, high level guitar noodling. I like anytime they do that kind of like dead and harmonic sound. Yeah, this is some dad rock for sure. Guess I'll head inside. All right. Have I, have I found the first fun bag to slap? Come on. We gotta just go for it. Call girl, a staple of modern society. You're not from around here. Wanna get away from here, baby? Real good price, I promise. So, how about it? Talk. 
They bring you in, did they? Something like that. So what do you say, baby? Sorry, but I've got my own business to take care of here. What? You're one of them too? I don't believe this. I must be losing my touch. So how's business? Take a hike, dipshit. Nice. So no titty slapping today. Take a hike, dipshit. Such a good line. The BCP cop looks like the receptionist. Maybe I'll try asking this guy about Ed. Oh, it's me. I'm Bob. Beyond the Bob. Yeah, dipshit is a timeless insult. I just realized I don't understand what it means. Is it like dipstick? I don't understand what play on words is going on. It's fun to say and it makes sense when you hear it, but now that I've thought about it. The etymology doesn't doesn't uh, present itself quite so quite so readily. Uh, how's security? How's the crime situation these days? I didn't know you came here to ask me that. <laughs> Whatever. It's been 30 years. What do you expect? They try to tell you it's a safe place and everything, but in reality, Beyond's the same as any major city on home. You are the stick to measure the depth of shit. That makes sense. Yeah, it rhymes and it has shit in it. You're a dip? Calling somebody a dip kind of makes sense, but I like there might have been some specific reason that calling somebody that was an insult. See her there comes with the territory. That's what happens when any large group of people live together. And when the city turns dirty, so must the cops. Ah, just like Lorraine said. You know, I have a job to do here. No sympathy, huh? Of course you're gonna get crime if you got a million people living together. Theft, prostitution, drugs, murder, take your pick. The work never stops around here. We get paid next to nothing, too. God, this guy. It's time I started thinking about a career change. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. That's pretty much the story. Eh. What's the crime like here, he's asking me. Enough with the questions, alright? over 20 years since this place got started. Times change. AP does all the real work nowadays. They're the ones that hit the street. Old cops like me get the desk work. AP is BCP, period. I guess the EMPs... EMPS plays a big part, too. Not everybody gets to pilot those, though. People on home seem to think we're all about whizzing around in the EMPS everywhere. I got work to do, you know. <laughs> oh, sure. AP stands for Advanced Police. It's the elite unit the chief created. It employs the latest EMPS as well as Frozeners. The AP unit's got a total of 30 members and 20, I'm just gonna say EMPs because that seems to be how they're doing it. How much more are you expecting to hear from me? I mean, yeah, I am asking him about a lot of stuff. Costback, believe it or not, th this is not Snatcher, this is Police Knots, a completely unique game. EMPs are police suits developed by Tokugawa Heavy Industries and BCP for use in and around the colony. EMPs stands for Extra Vehicular Mobility Police Suit. The things up front, right? Yeah, I saw them. Those are the Goddard model. Each one of those alone costs tens of billions of yen, but price ain't an issue. We could never go back to the way things were before we started using them. Enough with the questions, all right? It'd be fun if you got more annoyed as it went on. Frozeners. They're the guys born from the fertilized eggs the government's got. Normally, they get sent to the military, but the chief uses them in AP too. Yeah, they use that white artificial blood, right? Hmm. 
lately we've seen Frozeners sent here from various militaries on home. How much longer are you expecting to hear from me? Or how much more? Yeah. I think he says that when he's done talking about a subject. I'm here to see Ed Brown. You know, the former police knot. Ed? Ed Brown, that's who you're here to see? Jesus, you came all the way from home to see him? He's down in the junkyard. Junkyard? Yeah, Vice, BCP's dump. He's in charge there. You said Vice? If guys like us have the BS work, you can imagine the fun they have. AP handles just about everything they used to do. I don't know why they still get to call it Vice. It's down in the basement. The cave, as we call it. The, the cave? It's dark, smelly, and weird stuff grows on the walls. That's what Ed does now? Yeah, you ruffle feathers up here, you get thrown down there. They're BCP's freeloaders. Man, I don't believe this. See for yourself if you think I'm making it up. Alright. Whoa. Ask him if he has something against Ed. He's totally useless. I pray to God I don't end up like him. Everyone around here knows him. Hard to believe he used to work with the chief. Oh yeah? The chief's an ex-police knot too. I'm busy here. We're done, right? Come on, get out of here. Vice is down in the cave. Alright. Alright. Can I show her my police not photo? Get yourself a haircut. Nice. Chikadana, Fukikawa. Anta, Edo ni tsutaite kure. はい、やめちまいなって。いつまでもただ飯食らってると惨めだってな。Jesus。俺は便利屋じゃない。言いたけど自分の口で言うんだな。Right, now it's very planetas. ここが噂に名高い風気化か。なるほど。優遇されてる部署とは思えんな。She filing her nails? Oh yeah, Meryl! Meryl's here, I forgot. She's quite a tall woman. Must be at least six feet. They didn't look like the APs the guy in the lobby was talking about. Their complexions are normal. <laughs> you got a minute? This is Vice. What's it to you? Put a sock in a tough guy. Walk yourself back up the stairs while you're at it. This is Vice, BCP's dump. Interesting outlook. <laughs> so many snoozes. He's eating a hamburger. I remember me and Ed used to hit the fast food joints all the time. You hungry or something? Eh, forget it. Don't even ask. Yeah, they can't be APs. Is that Ed? I can't make out the face. Yeah, that's Ed, all right. Hey, Ed! He's just snoozing. He's out cold. Unbelievable. Wake him up! Get up, damn it! いねむりするにはまだ早いぜ。ジョナサン。30年 Wow. I did not expect like straight up lethal weapon. Like the music cues and everything, little sax trills. 
すまんがそういうことなら力にはなれんエドロレインが殺されたんだ俺の目の前で何か大きな事件に巻き込まれたに違いないんだ、まあ、すまんジョナサンズカルコスティックガンのスマッタンダヨエドいつからそんなふぬけになった頭を冷やせジョナサンこの一件は我々の担当ではないホームの警察に任せるのが一番だエドジョナサン BCP で俺たちのことを何て呼ばれてるか知ってるかジャンクやだここは崩しか集まってこん後がないんだ昔のエドはどこへ行ったんだ俺の知ってるあのエドはジョナサンお前の知ってるエドは三十歳も若いエドだ今の俺は違う守るべき家族もロームはある You're too old for this shit! 失敗も恐れる権力にも屈するようになるんだ俺はゲイスのように器用ではないヘド俺はここでこの汚い地下で机にしがみついているのが精一杯だ今のこのチームゲイスの情けだわかったそれ以上言うなデカ長デカ長がやらないんなら私が手伝うわメリルがやるって言うんなら僕もその話に乗ったお前たちメロスティンこ,と言うなこんなことが上にバレたら終わりだぞ終わりってデカ長ここがその終わりだぞ。Throwing a knife around? 俺は三十年の間にいろんなものを失っちまった。ロレインも。だがこれで本当にすべてを失っちまったってわけだな。無理を言ったなエドじゃあな<笑>くそーなんてこったあと三年だぞあと三年で無事定年だってのにえー、たくジョナサン3 days from retirement 協力できんからなエド Hey, back in the game, back in the saddle. Waka the Sayado, Shin Pai Sulna. Oh, I know Shin Pai Sulna, each pine Shin Pai Nanda. Sorekara, Mary Luni Debu, Omara, Konokenia Teodasna, Ina, Konokenwa, Oreno Kujin Tigina Mondaida. Yoka de Cacho, Tewa Dasanaiva? Kuchiva Daskedone. Tagu, Jonathan, Okretama, Kuizra, Shoka Stoku. メリルにデイブだメリルはホーム生まれのホーム育ち元ハイテク特殊部隊オックスハウンドの最後の隊員だあのザンジバーランド陥落に「What? コジマスタッフ!」「ストップ!」「ストップ!」「ストップ!」「ストップ!」「ストップ!」「ストップ!」デイブはビヨンド生まれビヨンド育ちのビヨンズだよろしくジョナサンテレストリアルは大変だ I didn't know that this game also tried to connect itself to Metal Gear God damn it. I guess there's a solid snake sign, but this is before Metal Gear Solid. Sate, Jonathan, don't you? Toriaz, BCP, and I will unlike you. Omaemo, Police Note, that Tanda. Kill me, or the Ru. Did I miss Meryl Bouncy Bouncy? Oh, is that what, is that what you can do? Oops. Jonathan. Uh oh. BCP, and I will unlike you. Oh, no. いいんだよお前を引っ張る心配だ。I messed up. I got the buttons backwards again. ここはホームの警察とはかなり違う。Oh no. Did I miss my chance again? どこへ案内しよう ?Hopefully I can cancel out of this. Okay, thank God. Whew, that was close. That was really close. It's only look or talk. Ugh. You really fill out that shirt. What do you expect? I'm a woman. Why, you want to get to know me even more? Nah, I'd probably break something. Wimp. <laughs> Slap the titty. You want to touch these, you have to beat me. And Meryl rocks. I'll kick your ass, idiot. If you can beat me up, you can grab my boob. That's how I decide if someone's good enough for me. Alright, name your terms. How about beating my high score in the shooting trainer? 
transactional titty grabbing? Shooting. Just so happens that's my speciality. All right, what do I do? What are you guys trying to start? Training mode level two, any target you want. You get over 550 points, they're all yours. Keep in mind, you need to hit each target at least twice. Over 550 points in the level two training mode, huh? Good luck, you'll need it. Kojima's never understood more what motivates the gamers than honking a titty for gaming performance. A real tattoo? No, just paint tattoo, it stays on for about half a year. I'm still a woman after all. What does that have to do with it? This is Foxhound's old insignia. Most people don't here recognize it. Or most people here don't recognize it. Foxhound. What? Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Ask about her. Why don't you tell me about yourself? That's a surprise. No one's ever said that to me before. Not in person, anyway. I'm mainly into bikes and combat. I like men, but not in that way. Does that mean what I think it means? Of course, ever since I came here, half of me's disappeared. Can't ride bikes on the colony. Well, you can, but only electric ones. I mean, electric bikes are awesome. They didn't let you import gas engine models. Bikes nothing without the speed. Oh, Meryl. Little did you know in 1996 that electric bikes can go real fucking fast. You wouldn't be much without the combat either, huh? Past. So you were in the military on home. Why'd you join? Everyone in my family was in the military. I guess that's why. I think they kind of hoped I would. Why'd you move to beyond? I was in the special forces on home. But the way the world's regions were stabilizing and whatnot meant we weren't needed as much. If only you had outer heaven. A place for all warriors. There was no excitement in that. I was dying to see some real action. Then the government started using more and more Frozeners. They ended up getting all the work. That's when I thought I'd try it here. I passed all the checks, no problem. But beyond the same story. All those bug-eyed albino freaks. Jesus. Just my luck, huh? The past doesn't matter as much as how you live here and now, don't you think? What's it like working here? Advice? Pretty boring. Catching Johns and prostitutes with undercover stings, basic patrols of the colony, that kind of stuff. What do you mean, boring? There's this big area for prostitution in the center of the colony called Kabuki Quarter. Tourists from home like to go there for zero-gravity sex. We arrest them, they get out on bail, it's an endless cycle. I don't like it there because I get SAS since I'm a terrestrial. Why is it called Kabuki Quarter? There was this red light district in the late 20th century Japan known as Kabukicho. Yeah, there was an explosion in the number of cases of, of Stibo in Japan back then. So wait, is this in Snatcher's verse? I remember Stibo. That was Snatcher AIDS. God damn it, Kojima. Kabukicho was hit particularly hard. So our friends packed up and moved things here. Other well, rumors Tokugawa helped fund the pol or fund the place as a gesture towards his employees. I could never work undercover because of my build, so I'm always the one making the bust. Don't even say it. I get it from the guys upstairs all the time. Well, that's cool. That gun seems a little big for a woman. This Magnum Monster Special. Oh, this is a Magnum Monster Special, the biggest lift gun in the world. That's a lift gun. This kind of gun su suppresses recoil, allowing you to use it in zero gravity. Almost all guns in the colony are lift guns. There's a second explosion the moment the bullet exits the muzzle, kind of like a rocket. That serves as the bullet's main propulsion. That's why there's so little recoil. Oh, it's like a two-stage bullet. Just one to get it clear of the of the barrel and the other that actually makes it fly. Wouldn't another explosion right outside the gun throw off your aim? No! 
Right. See, you have a laser that keeps you locked onto your target. It has other features that absorb the residual recoil anyway. I'll take my recoil any day. Have you put any practice in at the shooting range? It's got several different programs you can use. You should check it out sometime. Thanks. I'm a pretty good shot, but I guess it wouldn't hurt. I haven't had a game over yet, thankfully. Kojima! Wait, how? I guess you could game over in the shooting sections. I wouldn't mind watching you practice sometime. Large boobs go with a large gun. Yeah, we're gonna have to gonna have to snip that out. Good for you, Kojima. Good for you. Good for you. Everyone's real happy. Do 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 do. A new wallpaper. There we go. No, large boobs need a large gun. Know what I mean? Touche. I don't know if I see the difference. This isn't an easy gun to use. It takes some practice. There's virtually no recoil at all, but most people still find it hard to handle. I would mind watching you practice sometime. Gross. Look at a cool knife. It's quite a knife. It's a Nisho combat knife. It's for protection. I've carried one ever since I was in the military. Put this yesterday. What we got? Aw, oh, shucks. <laughs> what the hell game was that from? Don't worry, I don't cut up little boys. Damn, Meryl's awesome. Is that bandana for zero gravity? No, sweat. I got it from one of the instructors in Foxhound. He said he'd keep the angel of death away. Or it'd keep the angel of death away. This has saved my butt a number of times. Most of them have been for stopping bleeding. A bandana does seem out of place on Beyond, but I don't let it bother me. Yeah, it looks like Snake's, snakes headband. That's an unusual earring. I made it from a bullet I got shot with. It missed my heart by a fraction of an inch. I keep it for good luck. You seem like a real combat girl, all that stuff you've got. Don't get me wrong, I don't like killing people. It's the tension of the battlefield I love. Let's see here, it's the only earring I have. It isn't jewelry or anything, it's a good luck charm. It doesn't look like it's working very well. This bullet nearly hit me in my heart. There I are. All right, look at her tits again. You wanna touch these, you gotta beat me. All right, all right, let's move to the guy who doesn't have boobs. So why would anyone care? Nice burger you got there. That a maximum hamburger? Ah. Meryl was originally going to not be in this game. It was meant to be Snake instead, in like an alternate universe where he became a cop. Huh. Okay. But hideous Kojima wanted titty jiggle. Yeah. Giving Snake tits really makes sense. That's a Kojima move for sure. Just adding boobs. I mean, it's still fun, though. If Meryl really is Girl Snake, I do like that all she does is talk about killing and fighting and how awesome that is. And there is something fun, like... Yeah, that's what this Meryl is. If a dude had titties... He would challenge another dude to beat him at a video game in order to honk his boobs. Like, that's something a dude would do. So it makes total sense that this is just Snake walking around in Meryl's body. <laughs> Bro, you beat my score, you can, you can squeeze my rack. Oh, 
I like how I'm about to tell this guy about his own hamburger. They became famous after they set up that so-called drive through for astronauts. I used to eat a lot of them on, on home. This is the Beyond version of the 1G meal. This is my favorite food. On Beyond, there are two types of packs. The other one is the 0G meal. I like the 1G meals. Dave wants to try a carbonated drink on home. Things like carbonated drinks and beer don't taste very good in zero gravity, so they're impossible to come by here. Even when you try and get them shipped from home, they spoil along the way. Bummer. Is that all you eat? I'm get I'm still on my first pack, just getting warmed up. First pack? You look like you should be in high school or something. I'd never guess you were a cop. Uh, I'm 25! Think about it. I've been alive for a quarter of a century. Quit staring at me, Jonathan. I'm talk about his cool goggles. What kind of sensors do those goggles have? None! <laughs> These are the type of goggles biplane pilots wore back in the 20th century. One of my dreams is to fly a hang glider on home, to have nothing between me and the wind. Now that I think about it, there aren't any aircraft here, are there? Nope. No gliders, planes, choppers, nothing. Alright, let's talk about him. Dave. Sup? Why'd you become a cop? Well, as you know, I was born here on Beyond. I've never been outside the cylinder. I became a cop because I thought I could get a transfer to home. It takes time for Beyonds to obtain an immigrant immigration visa. Sometimes years. Not easy either with all the checks they do. You're you're lucky, Jonathan. I'm a pretty ordinary guy. My interests aren't that different from most anybody else's. I don't really have anything to say. I'm not good at talking about myself. Now you wouldn't do well at home then. Why not? You need to be outgoing if you're living on home. It's not like here where people develop a bond because you're all living on the colony together. People there, they try to make themselves stand out. You know what I mean? See, I don't get that. What's wrong with living a quiet life on your own? You can. I've done it, but it's a lonely path. We're not designed to be solitary creatures. You think so? I wouldn't want anyone getting in my way. Can we talk about home instead? I want to know more about it. Ah, I can understand why you're into home so much, but it's not as nice a place as you think. It doesn't matter how nice I think it- or doesn't matter how nice you think it is, I'm dying to go there, just once. I have to experience it for myself. Oh, what are your hobbies? I guess my favorite thing to do is building kits with a box of maximum burgers next to me. Nice. Stack of burgers and a gunpla kit. Nice. DVDs of anime. Ooh, bought a PS2 this morning so you can play Ghost in the Shell again. Nice. I didn't... never played any of the console Ghost in the Shell games. I know there's a there's like the PS1 game where you play as Tachikoma. I guess is the PS2 one where you play as General Makoto? PVC you get here is made in zero gravity, so you don't get any air bubbles or warping or bumps. Everything comes out real nice. They're better built and cheaper than the models you find on home. Do you like scale models? I'm into sci-fi monsters, like the ones you see in the old tokusatsu flicks. Here we go. What I really want to do is some bird watching in the great outdoors, or whale watching in the ocean. You can't do that sort of thing here. When I was a kid, Beyond was a safe place. That's why I decided to become a cop. I figured it wouldn't be a dangerous job. I had no idea. Sorry to hear that. And all this, all the dirt bags started showing up. Oh, okay. You play as Makoto and Bato, third person shooter written by the original creator. Neat. I figured Lorraine was right. Hmm. Ever since AP oh, started up, we don't do the drug pus that normal vice units do. It's more or less basic collars for us. <sighs> okay. Well, I guess I might as well start showing my photo of Lorraine around. Hey, she's that anchor on news order, right? 
I've actually seen that show before, but I can't quite remember her face. Wait, what? Come on, bro. You know this. Capsules. Are those some kinds of drugs? I want to touch his boobs. Yeah. We need to touch those honks. Honk those honkers. Is that some kind of bulletproof vest? Oh, this is a life jacket. I like the way it looks. He's Marty McFly. You don't need to wear a vest on Beyond. They send EMP, uh, EMPs to all the trouble spots. There's no such thing as safe to a cop. You can never be too careful. Relax, Jonathan. So we got life jackets and a pair of goggles. What's the point? Oh, that's him saying that. So we got a life jacket and a pair of goggles. What's the point? How would you ever use them here? Oh, I do. Yeah? How? They make me feel good. He's right. When he's right, he's right. You can put that knife away. I won't fight you. Sorry, what? Wait, did you say you like me? Uh, I'm not even gonna try. What's with this? Who's that next to you? Oh, it's just an old memento. It's like fidgeting with his wedding ring. You'll have her pass, you especially. It's like Dave was saying. Ah, I keep hitting buttons on accident. I hate flowers. I'm allergic to pollen. Nice. Well, right to the shooting range. <laughs> Is that an Apple II? This is BCP training. BCP has been given to BCP for 2 days. The protector is on the wall. The sound is used to be a lot of sound. Can I use it? It's fine. You can do it. You can do it. Yes, you can do it. 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 You can do it.現れるマンタンゲットの命中率と命中箇所がわかる仕組みになっている。ただし、このプログラムは無反動銃、つまりリフトガン用に設定されているからな。リフトガンはいかにロックオンする化学問題なんだ。実行プログラムはターゲットモ
Here's a hint for target mode. You get a higher score by keeping your aim fixed in one place and firing multiple shots instead of moving it around for each shot. Multiple shots, Jonathan. Got it? I do. I understand. By the way, you ever seen a rat before? What kind of question is that? Sure. I saw one in OLA just before I flew over here. These rats showed up here not long, not that long ago. I've been trying everything to get rid of them. In the shooting range? Yeah. Okay. I guess you can see, maybe if you see a little rat running around, you can shoot it. You don't need my help, right? Nah, I got it. 550 points, yeah, in, in level two. Which we are about to do. Training mode. Oh, that's what, maybe that's what it meant. Level two? Yeah. You have to shoot each target at least twice. Was the tip she gave us. Interesting she gave us a tip. Uh, 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 uh. Damn. Holy shit. This sucks. Reload. Wait, you can't shoot them twice. Reload. 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 There it is, okay. Okay, I see. Reload. Reload. How does straight at the lethal enforcers reload? Ah! Ugh. Okay, it stops moving when you shoot it. Oh. Damn it. Can you get three shots? Seems like it. Oh wait, it doesn't count. It only counts the first shot. Wait, no it doesn't. What? I'm confused. It likes the target slows down when you get over a when you move it over a, a the reticle slows down when you move it over a target. Ah. Damn, that's tough. Yeah, it only counts the one shot, I think. No, there's a 20 there. Yeah, okay. Okay. So you got to double tap directly in the middle. L and R should auto target? Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, is that why? Yeah, like clicks to the like various columns. And target. I think you've gotten worse. I'm sure you can do better than that. Should have done a lot better than that for your first time. It's important to work on... Lowering your misses. Oh, that was not a deal. Three types of targets and three levels. You could try an easier level if you think it's too hard for you. Hambone10,000. Thanks for the sub. What's good? How are the adventures of John Police? Pretty awesome so far, can't lie. I don't care, no. What's he gonna tell me? Is he gonna tell me about the auto aim maybe? I'm not doing that. This is Dave showing me a thing or two. He moved the cursor off the screen to reload. He's like disabling all these people instead of killing them. The 
yeah, this is like mouse movement. the whole thing what point are we making here yeah the guns have no recoil that's correct because they're in space so they have to use something called lift guns which use two stage bullets impressive Yeah, right in the dick there. Nice dick shot. Interesting. Okay. What? Okay. Is that a thing in this game, though? That, like, there will be times where I could... I could wing somebody? Yeah, he flexed on us real hard, and then just left. Have you tried being good? He said, and then he walked away. <sighs> well, he doesn't get to jiggle... Meryl's sweet boobs. Okay, so you just have to do real quick double taps. Yeah, like that. hard if you're oh wait right the wait well it doesn't really help for the moving ones it's just like it's going up and down that's the problem because it like just tapping it makes it skip directly over ah. Damn, man. Uh, hey, like the the reticle changing speed when it hits a target is also really it throws you way off. I mean, it's better that it's slower for sure, but damn. Like, how is that one ten? The bullet holes in the middle. You can't even see the green. Maybe I only shot it once. Yeah, I guess I... Yeah, we gotta get that booba. We gotta get that booba. What's that zero? Or oh, that was an eight. Never mind. Thirteen? So you can, you can land three bullets on, on somebody.
Oh, wait, it says total score. Yeah, misses take off points. I didn't see that. So if you have 100% accuracy, does that add points or does it only take away? Have to work on lowering your misses. Oh, it only takes away. Shit. Shit. Okay, that's rough. Yeah, Merrill, Merrill's standards are high then. Good. They ought to be. One more time. One more time. Believe it or not, I'm not going to spend all day doing this. Control. Ah. Can't see the cursor. Hey. Getting better. It had to be five fifty, or was it just five hundred? Five thirteen. It didn't take anything away. I did zero misses. Is it five fifty? I can't remember. It is five fifty. All right. Hmm. Some of those are over ten or over. Tw well, I guess no. Twenty would be the max. Nice score. No misses at all. Very nice. Oh, misses are not taking a target out. Oh, so you can you can overfire with the gun. Oh, okay. Whew. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll go again. Oh, so you can't shoot three times. Okay, I'll start trying to triple tap then. Cause yeah, I thought some of them were definitely three hits. At the beginning, I could if you get an extra hit on some of those, that's gonna make it way easier. not easy to hit it three times. I don't think I'm doing better. God, and you can't... In fact, you can't see your reticle while you're reloading. I guess that's part of the, the nuance of it. going well. Ugh. No, okay. Yeah, trying to go trying to go center way better than just firing a ton. I can't hit those. I can't hit three bullets. I feel like you'd need like a like an auto fire or something for that. 
Yeah, I don't think I got three bullets on any of these. Well, there's one. Sheesh, why is it so hard to land three? Is there a trick to it? Hello, Joe. I'm going to try it one more time. I mean, the, the shooting is actually kind of fun. And the, I mean, God, the pistols are better. Or the pistol sound effects are awesome. Uh. Ah! <laughs> it's like you have to go far enough down before you can come back up and land on the right spot. Close. Like starts lagging at a certain point too. Damn it. By taking a little more time, might have worked out. Ah! Oh, er. God, it like stutters. <sighs> I can see it there. I can see it. I can see a path to it. Yeah, there's a lot of improvement to be done, especially in the earlier parts when I actually have more time. We can, we can get it. It's within striking distance, I think. Does the auto-aim button move to the edge or does it center? It centers, but it doesn't, um, yeah. But it's the up and down that's, that's the problem. Because it's, it's like weirdly sensitive. Yeah, we get to see that large, large gun move around. Very excited for that. Yeah, like, who's just under? Or, like, just barely around? Ah! Like, uh, if there were just, like, a way to be, have much f more fine control. I guess sometimes it goes right there. Reload. I don't know. That's that's really frustrating. Like just de 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 de. Uh. I guess sometimes it zaps right on though and it saves time.
bass is sick though. Can't argue with that. And I do kind of like that it's it's tuned to be so ridiculous, especially because of the uh, the promise of titty on the far end of it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Here's a hint for training mode. Hit it up to three times. It's worth giving a try. In order to win your bet, bet against Merrill, you'll have to shoot targets multiple times. There are 50 targets with a hit to the center worth 10 points. So you have to get over 550 points to win. I can't believe you guys made a bet like that. You should know how important something like this is to me. I like how they're bringing it up. They know that's why you're here. They know that's why you've played five times in a row. <laughs> Yeah, there might be a way to, to map the mouse to it. That would make it probably trivial. But inputs, I don't know. If it's designed to have a D-pad, it's not like you can just, like, turn it on. It. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I wasn't thinking right. Gotta miss. Let's see. That should do it, though. Yeah, boy. That's a lot of points. That's simply a lot of points. Hopefully, Ed gives me a crisp high five. This is a nice score. You had one miss, though. You really stopped. Got sweet. That's that's the perfect thing to say. Sweet can touch Meryl's boob. What are you so happy about? Time to pay Meryl a visit. Time to go see Meryl. Why don't I take you to forensics now? Yeah, nice try. Shells and cigarette butts everywhere. Empty syntho beer cans. Yoo-hoo. Getting used to this place, Jonathan? How about that? You're really tall. You must get a lot of looks. Not really. I'm only six foot. I was one of the smaller ones in the military. All right, let's. Should we just go right in? Touch. I did it. I got over 550 points in the level two training mode. Yeah, I noticed. I'm here to collect. Oinga boinga. Get in there. You won fair and square. It's true. 
Go ahead, lover boy. <laughs> All right, here I go. Gaming. What was that? Do you get infinite boob grab privileges? Would you hate me if I touched them again? Knock yourself out. In the name of, what have you got under there? I think you've had enough. Yep, all right. Wow. Damn, that was a value. I thought we'd only get one full titty honk, but graceful, blessed Meryl showed us grace and decided that we get three honks, three full tit honks. <sighs> Satisfying, that's good gaming. Shoot, on that note, I think I'm actually gonna put a bookmark in it and uh, and pick this up again another time. Dang, Kojima has got it. Ah, uh, Krimi, you just got here? Sorry to, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Every stream, there's always one person who comes in right before I, I wrap up. And unfortunately, today it was you. But it may not be next time. And also, as soon as I finish, you can just rewind and watch if you want. But uh, thanks for watching today, everybody. I'm, uh... Oh, 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 you're saying you just got here talking about the honking. That's fine. Um, shorter stream today. But I, I kind of want to take it easy. Also, I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna mega chill and play Dragon's Dogma two. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, yeah. I'll let you know if anything fun happens. Oh, Bruce just hopped off. Damn it! I was hoping to raid over to him. I'm sure I'll find some other, somebody else just as deserving. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope to uh, hope to see everyone next time. More sweet gaming in the future. I'm gonna bring back prequel thon. We gotta finish it out. I think. Um, let me let me just see what the what my next next game was. Dig out my old my old uh, notes. Played, I already played Order 66, I think. The expansion for Republic Commando. And Battle Over Coruscant. There's all the Clone Wars games. Lego Star Wars. Connect Star Wars, goddammit. Star Wars Journeys. Okay, so there's a there's some. There's some in there. TIE Fighter doesn't count because it's not based on the prequels. But we did play uh, Jedi Starfighter. And uh, that was okay. Oh, was it Order 66 a phone game? Shit. I thought it was an expansion to uh, to Galactic. Well, whatever. We'll figure it out. Uh, and the good news is, boy, or boy is the Kojima-thon picking up steam. Because, man, Police Knots is pretty awesome. And then, of course, after that, it's like Metal Gear Solid. And it just goes and goes and goes. Those games are so eminently playable and streamable. And I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to replaying those games. I've been thinking about them a lot. Uh, all right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, see you next time. More sweet gaming in the future. As always. Partridge. I can only be talking about Street Fighter 2 for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Now, what you might not know is that with the right secret code, you can play characters against their alter egos just like the Arcade Champion Edition machine. Watch this and learn. <laughs>
Yeah. 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 Yeah.